I mean, let's pretend if Harry's next interview is actually with you on the Royal Report. So what would be your first question? Not going to happen. I'd be, I, the first question <laughs> I have for Harry is who is advising you? Who are the people that yeah. you were listening to? Because I really do wonder every time something new comes out, I really do wonder what what was behind that? What was the thinking? What was the motivation? Because he's basically done everything contra to what you would think anyone would do in this particular circumstance. Yeah, and, and you know, my wife says she reckons that he's really done the wrong thing by his kids who are just going to have mm. a dreadful life ahead of them. They're going to have every media person looking for a, the photo of uh, Lily Betts, uh, you know, f first day at school. It, it, it's just going to be hounded. It's He's really created a big mess for his family going forward. He really has. I, th I think he has too. And when you think about um, the, the the scandals and the dramas that went on in his parents' generation and how that affected him and yep. his brother, why would you try and continue essentially that sim not the same, but a similar sort of disruptive behaviour that you then foist on a younger generation? That then becomes a millstone for the children. And I think that that is vastly unfair because they've obviously got no say in any of this. Yeah. Now, just on a quick other matter, uh, Jane Hume was on Sky this morning calling for a fundraising project to support more female candidates in the Liberal Party. I know you might have a few views about that. This is Jane Hume this morning on Sky. Lots of people have great ideas about how to bring more women into the Liberal Party, but the problem is they don't have, uh, you know, the funding mechanism behind it to make sure that it's sustainable into the future. And it's important that we all participate in this because it is important for all of our futures, not just the future of women in Parliament. Uh, as a bright person, a woman, what do you make of all of that, Carolyn? Well, I actually feel like I have some particular skin in the game here because when I'm not on Sky, um, I'm also very senior in the in the West Australian Liberal Party. And, and these comments are my personal comments. They're, they're not said on behalf of the party. But it is incredibly important that we get more women involved. But we need more women involved at all levels. We need women involved in branches. We need women involved... We need women sitting in pre-selections before they're participating in pre-selections. And there is a yeah. whole process of, of getting to know the beast that is the party, how it operates and, and how you can progress yourself. You know, I, I really do feel for women when they're parachuted in, they may not have the necessary support and sponsorship and support that they need for pre-selection. Then they're unsuccessful and then they walk away from the party with a view that, you know, you can understand why people would be disappointed. Well, yep. if we can do this in the longer, in a longer term and better and that is more substantive, you are going to have better success. And, and on this one here, I mean, Gary, you know my views on quotas and all manner of that. They are widely publicised and you have been on the receiving end of a great many of them over the years. But I do have a lot of sympathy... <laughs> haven't you, um, with what Jane is proposing here. And, and, look, if there is a way that we can have that training, that grassroots training that starts early, that prepares women right from the time that they get involved in the party all the way up until they can compete in a pre-selection, they are going... Uh, they're, going to, they're going to be more successful. They just are. I refuse to accept this view um, that there is this somehow this rampant misogyny through the Liberal Party. Look, we've got our, we've got our issues and they pop up, please don't think that they're just a Liberal Party issue. They happen everywhere in politics. But to the extent that we can make yeah. women competitive, I'm all for it. Yeah, good idea. We'll call it the Bronwyn Bishop Fund, I think, Caroline. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, I wish you really uh, well with the Royal Report. Tiara or no Tiara, you'll just slay them. So go for it. Thanks so much for your time.